At the beginning of our exercise, we create a new project. At first, we select the directory to save all our Metigo 3D projects. And now we insert the name of our new project. Here we can change the resolution and the scale of the resulting autophotos. Before loading the images, we have to create a new camera. Therefore, we go in the project tree, on the item cameras and open the context menu by right click of the mouse. And now we select the entry new camera. At first, we insert the name of our camera. In the second step, we define the parameters of the inner orientation. And now the data of the camera sensor. If our camera with lens is photogrammatically calibrated, we can insert the distortion parameter here. In the next step, we load the source images. Therefore, we go in the project tree and open the context menu on the item source images and select the entry load images. On the left side, we select the directory where our source images are. In the center of the window, you can see the images and we can select them with pressed control key with pressed left mouse button we can drag them into our camera now the images are loaded into our project that means they are copied in our project directory. After we have loaded the images, the software can automatically detect the stereo models. Therefore, we open the context menu on the item's source images and select the item Generate Image Groups. In this window, we select the images, we open the context menu and select Generate Image Groups again. In the process of image group generation, you can select all images. But if you can make a pre-selection of images by hand, you can save computing power. Here you can see the found image group and the found stair models. The image pair 3, 1, 5, 3, and 7, 5. On the left side in the project tree, you can see the created image group and the three stair models. Now we start model orientation. At first we select the item model analyzes. On the top you can see the overlapping between the three star models. And here you can see the suggested order of orientation. Let's start with model 3. Therefore we open the model by double click on the item in the project tree 
Here you can see both images with their image coordinates. In the first step, we calculate the relative orientation of all stereo models. Therefore, we select the item in the context menu of the image group. The orientation was calculated for all three models. In this process, wrong points are filtered automatically. They are shown in blue. Now we will calculate the absolute orientation. You can do this with the help of distance between both cameras, a distance at the object, or with the help of 3D reference points. We select the tab Object Coordinates and here we can import our 3D reference points. On this window we can select a subset of points to import, maybe by point number, but in this case we import all points. After we have loaded the 3D reference points, we have to measure them in the images. For this, we zoom to the appropriate place in the image by scrolling the mouse wheel. In the toolbar, we select the mode for measuring reference points. And now, we can draw a rectangle with press shift key and left mouse button. The software shows a red cross where it has found the reference point and now we insert the appropriate number and save the image coordinate. For calculation of absolute orientation you need at least three coordinates. For a stable balanced equation we use six to 8 coordinates that are evenly distributed at the object. If the reference point was found in just one image, we repeat this process in the other image. After we have measured four reference points in the image pairs, we start the calculation of absolute orientation. Now we can evaluate the result by controlling the calculated accuracy, the parameters of the image pairs, that means standpoint and rotation angles of the cameras, or we control the position of the remaining reference points that are shown here yellow. In general, it's advisable to use all reference points in the images, but in our exercise we leave them. To transfer the orientation to the other stair models in the image group, we open the context menu and select Automatic Orientation. Now we select both remaining stereo models and press OK. And as you can see, the orientation was calculated successfully for both. If we open the stair model by double click, we can control the position of the remaining yellow shown reference points. And as you can see, model 2 is orientated. As well as model 1.
Now we save all orientated stair models by selecting the appropriate item in the context menu. All models were saved and for each stair model a so-called flash and pills was created. Before generation of point clouds, we open the 3D window. Therefore, we press this button in toolbar. Here you can see the start coordinates in orange for the stereo model 3. On the right hand side, you can see the images of the model, the amount of the start coordinates, and the step size in the images as well as the appropriate step size at the object. Now we are starting the point cloud generation. Starting from the start coordinates, new 3D coordinates are generated. This process can take 1 to 5 minutes per model. It depends on the step size and the existing computing power. We can start the point cloud generation in batch process too. Therefore, we open the context menu on the item Flash and Builds and select the item Batch Process. Before starting, we select in this case the two remaining models. In the background, you can see the point cloud generation of model 1. We will switch to triangulation now. Therefore, we press the appropriate button in the toolbar. On the right hand side, you can see another tool window where we can start the triangulation. This process can take a few minutes per model again. It depends on the amount of points and on the existing computing power. After generation of the digital surface model, we can hide or show the points. In the next step, we will map the basically used images on the digital surface model. Therefore, we switch to the next mode in the toolbar, Texturing. On this tool window, we press the button Texturing to start this process. Here you can see the textured surface model. Before creation of an autophoto, we have to create a user coordinate system. Therefore, we press the appropriate button in the toolbar. Here we select first the balanced plane and then we press point selection by polygon. Now. We measure this polygon by left mouse click in the 3D window and finish this polygon by right mouse click. We switch to the mode Autophoto now. On this tool we select our user coordinate system. We can change the parameters for scale and resolution of the resulting autophoto and start the process autophoto creation. This process can take a few minutes again. It depends on the size of resulting image, the existing amount of points and triangles and the existing computing power. Here we select the destination directory and the suitable name for the autophoto. If we have a look on the autophoto, you can see the high resolution of the resulting photo.